couple of months ago, I had uh, an idea for doing three, two, even four start threads. Um, there's a project that I'm sort of working on with a friend of mine, and we're wanting to have a three start thread. Unfortunately, I don't know too many easily repeatable ways for a noob like me to be able to create three start threads. Um, until I until I ordered one of these these ER32 hex collet blocks, um, and I got thinking, well, why can't I just rotate this around, and that gives me the new start. So I've set the lathe up for. No, I've almost set it up for a three millimeter pitch. Uh, have to engage the gear train. The size of the tap that I want to make is going to be 8mm with a 3mm pitch, but it's going to be 3 starts, so it's going to be 1mm from crest to crest, but the actual distance that gets travelled per revolution is going to be 3mm. Um, I'm sticking really far out here, but with, without any support, and it is aluminium, so it might flex. This is 12 mil stock rather than eight, just to just to play with. I've got some eight millimeter silver steel um, that that I'll use for the actual tap itself. I've got a feeling this will flex a little bit. Um, unfortunately, the geometry of the cutter here interferes with the center. I think what I really need is one of those little half centers. Um, or a much smaller, longer center, but yeah, it's um, it is what it is. This will flex. I'm not expecting it to work perfectly, but I'm wanting to actually try the concept out here. Um, so the actual depth that I travel in will be around about will be around about fifteen thousandths. Um, it's five eighths of one millimeter for the actual crest depth, um, so five eighths of the pitch, and that'll get me close to what what I'm actually after. Um, so yeah, scratch pass. <laughs> doesn't look like a three millimeter pitch. That looks more like three millimeters. Unfortunately, I don't have a three millimeter pitch gauge, so. Yeah, that's that's three millimeters. Counting, counting the distance across three or four threads, any errors would get compounded and they were, they were pretty much spot on across the, um, across the three or four threads I counted. So, reverse out.
we're going to advance four thousandths now. I see it. It's the thread dial. Um, it's a metric lathe, but because I don't have the correct um, gear on the thread dial installed right now, then it's a pain in the butt to replace. It. Not as not a huge pain in the butt, but I'm just lazy for a, a quick experiment. Um, I'm just gonna leave it disengaged. Uh, just gonna go backwards and forwards, not disengaging the half nut. <laughs> This is probably incredibly bad for carbide. So this is one third of a circle indexed across. I do know one other way that I could have done 3 TPI and that's to advance, to set the compound up square and advance it um, by one third of a millimeter. But this works too. I hope. Normally I'd also be using kerosene WD-40 or some lard, something like that, but I'm wanting to see the blue mark. I don't, I don't want the sharpie to get rubbed off. So 14 thousand. <laughs> Fifteen point eight is the magic number, but sixteen is going to be the closest I can do, I think.
this is giving me hope. do 10 thou because I think this might be flexing a bit. This is starting to look pretty dang awesome. seeing reasonable consistency across the tops of the threads here. I'm, um, for a very quick experiment, I'm relatively pleased with the results. If I were wanting to do the actual tool, I'd be feeding in with the compound. I'd be, um, checking my setup a lot more carefully. I'd probably be doing two thou cuts every single time, maybe four, I don't know. Um, depends on how the silver steel really behaves. Uh, I'd probably run the same speed just simply because I'm still kind of green when it comes to single point threading and uh, once or twice I got very close to the collet here and I can't really stick this out much further without um, copious amounts of flex happening in here. But I'm gonna clean this part off and and we'll see how it looks.
Yeah, the finish is very, very ordinary. Probably due to the very slow cutting speed. Um, overall, I think I can be pleased with this. I might, I might take a photo and um, call this thing done after parting it off. Thank you.